So I'm, my name is Daniel Barron. I'm the founder of SmartTab POS. We're a point of sale system based in San Francisco, and we target high volume, high velocity bars, nightclubs, and gentlemen's clubs. And we also do restaurants. Uh, we're very niche and verticalized in hospitality. We're really focused on servicing not only our clients, but also their customers, their patrons. And with that, we've had a lot of great success with our offshore uh, remote development team, Moby Dev. The early days were difficult only because the relationship was young. So it took a moment to gain our own confidence in the process, but making the decision to go with Moby Dev. That was easier for us because we were able to evaluate them with the other vendors that were making themselves available. The other vendors simply said yes to everything and said everything could be done in the timelines we gave to them, which didn't didn't bode well in my mind that that's somehow possible. Then Moby Dev didn't say yes to everything. They asked more questions. They investigated my level of interest in developing and set expectations based on what what could be achieved based on what they were able to extract from me. So immediately I could tell they were qualifying the relationship instead of just trying to earn it by giving me all the answers I wanted to hear as if somehow that would be enough to convince me in the moment to you know to say hey these guys are promising me the world and that I can get these deliveries with expectations that are unrealistic. Moby Deb didn't say no they just asked more questions and asking more questions really helped me understand that they cared enough to know what we were trying to build so that they can give me a roadmap and an allocation of resources, a you know a plan of action, letting me know that we're st taking steps in continuance of that relationship. So they really built the road to confidence quicker, but in the first couple months, when you don't know what's happening and you ask, can I see something? And you know it's gonna take a while to see something. That was a little hard to, that was a little hard to swallow, but it was basically a bridge to when we actually had receivables. And when we had receivables, you know, it wasn't a polished version of our product that we have today, but it was the closest thing to my early signs of relief and letting my panic dissipate. And since then, you know, I get to say, I, I, I get to take credit for the work of a lot of talented and accomplished individuals. And I get to impress upon other people that somehow these are all my accomplishments alone. But I get to also say, I have a team in another country that focuses its energies and attentions towards me. They make me look good. I have a delivery and an expectation based on a relationship that has been tenured for years and I know exactly what I envision my outcome. So if there's a perceived premium for this delivery, that's the greatest bargain I'm gonna enjoy for getting the results that I need. And honestly, I demand. So I can't stress this enough. You can find engineers at any price below what Moby Dev's selling and I would simply say good luck to you and I really sincerely hope that it doesn't end up preventing you from getting to where your desired outcome is because losing time is the most expensive asset and then the frustration of believing in something only to watch that belief deteriorate puts so much down into an entrepreneur's mind. You're better off working with the right team even if it takes a little longer getting a realistic outcome towards a product that's going to be workable and that's what I got with Moby Dev. So if there was any perceived expense or cost, I, I, don't, I don't at this point appreciate that as a concern. I'd rather see the result, and I paid for that result, and I'm so happy that I got it.